This is the Avro Arrow, Canada's entry into the supersonic era. The CF-105 Canadian fighter jet, also known as the Avro Arrow, was built in the late 1950s to target Soviet spy planes during the Cold War. The production of the Arrow was cancelled in February 1958, also known as Black Friday in the Canadian aviation industry. It's obviously hit the water at great force, uh, about 0.6 Mach, so it's broken here at the nose. Just recently, pieces of the original planes were found at the bottom of Lake Ontario. However, that's not the only model that remains. There's one here closer to home. There's only one full-size replica of the Avro Arrow in existence, and it's tucked away in a far corner at this hangar. And sadly, this piece of Canadian history is falling into despair. What's happening here now is... It's, you know, unspeakable what's going on. Brian, along with hundreds of volunteers, helped build the replica that was once proudly displayed at the Canadian Air and Space Museum out at Downsview Park. The phenomenal amount of work that went into the aircraft and uh, it's so accurately uh, made. And then later on when uh, the museum closed down and the close to 700 volunteers were put out on the street, this aircraft was stored for the city of Toronto out here and it's been here almost about five years. The Avro Arrow is now tucked away, covered and rotting. Brian and many of the volunteers are now calling out the city of Toronto to step in. The Avro Arrow has taken on almost mythical, uh, you know, uh, proportions in Canadian history and I think uh, the notion that you'd allow one of the last uh, replicas to just collect dust is not acceptable. So I can't make any promises, but I can certainly tell you I'm going to find out who owns it, uh, what the status of it is and, and uh, see if there is some interest we can create in having it somewhere where it can be seen by people because it is an important chapter. Some people think a very sad one, but an important chapter in Canadian history. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.